Come on, let's go. Now we've got a cluster of yearlings. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. I'm at the Ponderosa. I've got some of the herd up here. I was out of town. So Kevin has been enticing them a little bit with feed and got them up in the crowd just to let them know, hey, it's open, here it is. Obviously I left the gate open for them right over here last time, which I showed you in my previous video. But uh, uh, they're hanging out right here. Come up and get a drink of water. We've got the babies up here, but we are missing three. We are missing three and <laughs> Out of those three is Big Joe. So I think he is honestly, he's down at the bottom of the pasture in pasture two. And uh, I know they've been coming up here cause I can see him on camera and Kevin sent me pictures and video of it. But um, I think he's escorting a cow that may be in heat, which is what he's supposed to be doing. But um, anyways, that's another story. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go wrangle him. I ain't wrangle him, I'm just kidding with you. I'm gonna drive down in the pasture uh, he's kind of slowly making his way up here. Maybe I'll give him some uh, room and, and wait and see if he actually comes up here. May have to take a uh, sack of feed down there and try to get him to come up, him and that other cow, so we can get him caught. Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got one red dog, two red dogs. Oh. Six hiding over there behind the truck. We've got four two-year-old heifers. Um, so they'll be able to breed this year, like these two right here. And then here are the two mamas, obviously. We've got the 32 cow with her little bull. And then the 54 cow with her little bull. Getting some water. I'm filling up for them. Look at the little guy. Hey, buddy. My other yearling came up that actually got through a fence. Here's her buddy right here that we raised. She's sitting over here um, that I brought a couple months ago over to the Ponderosa. She's hiding back here behind these two-year-olds. So um, that yearling, I'm gonna get her out to go with the uh, Canada and Dakota yearlings. All right, so I didn't record it. I know, I know, I know. But all I did was this calf right here. I keep saying calf. This yearling, one I, I raised, I brought her over here. Um, she was standing literally right here, hanging out, checking the yearlings out, these other yearlings. And I just opened up this gate right here for her and she just walked right in. So now I've got her singled out here by herself, which is perfect because I want to put her back in. Uh, with the other yearlings. She's been out here with uh, Big Joe and all of them, and it has been fine grazing and whatnot, but I want to put her back with these other yearlings because they have access to feed, as you can see right down there as well. They have access to feed and grazing. Look at the big guy here. Hoss. So I'm going to try to open these two gates up right here, and you can put them together and see if I can run her through there. These goobers may try to run through there as well. And if you guys can tell, this is not water runoff from uh, the trough. This is rain. Okay, there's a little bit. Don't, I was lying. But this right here, we got rain. We got a little bit of rain today and we'll take it. So excited about that. Okay, so here's something really cool. Those, the way those gates open like that, um, you can just kind of slide them together and I've locked them with a chain and now it makes uh it makes this accessible to get this yearling she she sure is getting worked up and so are they they see an opening you guys get out of here and uh we'll run her through here so she can get back with them come on hon 
you're gonna let the others in. Oh, come on, get back, get back. Hoss, he'll be one of the first ones in here. Always is. Going the wrong way, sugar. Maybe it's good the others came in here. She'll see them. She'll want to go with them. Yeah, hop, yeah. hip. Let's go, get. Now we've got a cluster of yearlings. Let's go. Do not want to walk through all these weeds. That's the only bad part about it. It is a tight squeeze. But there we go. They're all out. I know some of you are like, what in the world is that sound? And I'm kind of embarrassed to show you guys this, but those are not rancher shoes. Yes, I am wearing my Crocs. I uh, didn't I didn't come over here to expect this. I thought maybe they were already caught and I just have to shut a gate basically. and. It's like going in Walmart. You go in there for one thing and you come out with a whole bunch and you didn't get the cart to get everything. And so your hands are full. So that's basically what I just did. I came over here and then you get an opportunity. You got to take it when you can. And so I did I <laughs> try to get that calf in there. But uh, <laughs> so if you hear the squeaking around, it's it's my Crocs. So it's uh, just bison ranching it. Hey, but the good thing is, is I see Big Joe and the cow are slowly making their way up here. So let's uh let's go check them out in my crocs okay so what i'm gonna do now is um big joe has not showed up yet he's just standing out here if you guys can see him he's just standing out in the pasture staring at me because let me tell you something that guy's smart and he's been through the ringer before and he knows something's up um but they're super close but i think i'm gonna shake a sack a little bit these guys I may go out but hopefully I can get them back in because I've got some cubes. As long as I get them back in, we'll be okay. So maybe Big Joe will uh, will follow us. They know what's up. Come on, Big Joe. Here he comes. Tell him. Say, come on, Big Joe. He's been hanging out with the girls. Well, one girl. Chasing ladies. good so i'm gonna pour out some cubes now and then i've got to drive over there and shut that gate i'll throw some cubes out right here there's the big guy little bit of success there which is good we've got them up here in our main area you can see marissa's flowers back over here they're protected by these freestanding panels yearlings are over here uh, they have pasture one and up here and then uh, so we've got these guys right here kind of this holding area what i call where there's typically not any bison in here and we let the yearlings in here sometimes to graze it down but we're gonna i've got them locked up here for overnight 
then we'll run them and get them in our corral in the morning. I've got some help coming. One of my former football players, uh, when I was coaching up in Edmond, Oklahoma, he is interested in raising bison, which is awesome. And he goes to my alma mater, Oklahoma State. Uh, Tyler will be here tomorrow, and uh, he doesn't know it, but he's going to be on the channel. So, um, but <laughs> he's uh, going to be in for a show. He's going to help me. He wanted to come and, and, and check things out. I said, well, I don't have a lot going on in the summer, but I said, if you want to come on this day, we've got something interesting happening. So hopefully we can load up Big Joe in the morning and that goes all smooth. And uh, we'll see. Hopefully everything goes good. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the morning.